Okay guys, I got the Ranger in the shop today. Going to be doing a few things to it. Uh, one thing is I got to re-bed line the grill guard here. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's bubbling up. Um, I remember when I sprayed this on, it was very, very humid. And it uh, kind of bubbled up on me, so I got to take care of that. Um, it needs a wash job pretty bad. I might do that after I get done with that. But along with that is uh, I've got a part that I've had in the shop for a while. And it's the rear sound deadening kit for it, uh, for the rear panel. Uh, what that is, is um, this carpet stuff. And then you also get uh, some of this thick padding here. And that goes on the back of the, the floor panel. And there's the kit number, I guess, or part number. And this is supposed to quiet it down actually quite a bit. Um, also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of my um, sound deadening mat to this in places where they don't use this stuff and they don't have the, the carpet on there. I've got, there's an area right behind the passenger seat and the mufflers right there. And it's no, there's no sound deadening, there's no padding or anything right there. And that's, you know, probably where most of the noise is coming into the cab at. And they've got nothing there. So I'm probably going to add a bunch of sound mat to that area and then um, the carpet goes over top of that so should make a real big difference in the, the sound that gets transferred into the cab here I don't know why it's been so long why I haven't got this installed but it, it is gonna have to be disassembled quite a bit the rear panels gotta come off I don't think I have to take out the floorboard I think I can just pull it back and install this, but we'll we'll find out, I guess. I'm gonna first. I gotta run and get some bed liner at the store because it's gonna take me a while to, to do this, and they'll probably be closed by the time I get to that part. So, gotta go get me some bed liner, and then I'll be back. We'll start tearing this thing apart. Okay, so I got everything pretty much tore tore out of it. Got all my panels. Got the floorboard, seats. Everything's out. I think I'm going to have to pull the seat belt out. Kind of flop it over the one side to get my, my back panel in. I think. I'm not sure. But uh, everything is so muddy right now. And dirty. I'm going to have to let it sit overnight and dry. Because otherwise I'm going to be fighting mud everywhere. But there's the floorboards. Uh, right here is where that sow deadening is going to go. That thick pad. Uh, my seats are over there. Little center hump cover. Uh, here's the back panel. I am going to wrap this. Uh, I don't know if that's the intake for the, for the belt. Or the motor. But I'm going to wrap that too. I run out of sound deadening when I had that off so I'm going to pull this off and wrap it just so I don't get engine noise and stuff or try to eliminate most of that and um, yeah I'll do that I got some more sound deadening also I'm going to do this area here really good with sound deadening I'm going to go all the way down but right here is the most important because the muffler is right behind the shield there and I believe this is where most of the noise is coming from, is actually this area here. I'm thinking about doing the, there's a little bin that goes right in here. And I'm thinking about lining that whole bin with sound deadener too. Because when I, I took the bin out and I just moved this forward and a lot of noise come up through here. So I'm thinking about outlining or lining my bin with sound deadening too, just to, Try to eliminate as much as I can. I'm not going to tear this Ranger apart again. This is my last time. Uh, I think I got pretty much all the accessories you can get for it anyway. 
So this will be the last time I tear this thing apart and install stuff. So I'm going to finish it all up, get back out here tomorrow, start cleaning up and start sticking some solid deadening and, and working on all these panels. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to install is the big pads that go on the floorboard. Um, not on the floorboard, but on the back of the floorboard section. That's these big pieces here. They're thick and they're very heavy. I am uh, just got done cleaning off all my sound mat that I stuck on there. Now, they want you to add or they want you to hit, like heat treat the plastic before they stick this on. But because I have uh, the, the sound mat on there, um, I don't feel like I need to do that. The sound mat is, seems to all be sticking really good. That's really sticky stuff. So I'm just going to uh, stick this mat on here. Um, looks like I need to clean up a little more here. I didn't know it went down quite that far. So I'm going to clean that off a little bit. I'm going to pull the backing, the sticky backing. And then stick it down and then there's holes. You're going to have to drill each one of these holes. And they have a, like a plastic push pin. And then there's a washer that goes on this side that holds that. Just some extra holding power I guess in case the adhesive don't completely hold it. And then there's one smaller section right here that goes there. It ain't quite as big as this. Uh, the fuel tank sits right here, I think. So that must be why they don't go all the way down there. But I'm going to finish cleaning this off. We'll get this installed. And I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done. So there it is installed. And uh, here's the, the washers with the push pin things. I guess that's how they want it installed. Um, that's how I understood it from the directions. Uh, there's the other piece there stuck on. So this uh, floorboard is actually ready to go back in and I think I might uh, reinstall that now. Because it won't interfere with nothing on the, the back panel. So I think I'm going to drop this back in there and get it out of my way. Okay, so you can see I got the floorboards in. And I like to install all the screws and the holes before I tighten them up. And actually I'm going to leave them loose yet until I get the side panels and uh, everything else on. So I just make sure I find all the holes where they went. It's quite a few screws and some push pins. Uh, but Right now, I'm taking this um, foam stuff like this. It's for like windows and stuff. You can get it at the home store. And I'm sticking it um, inside this fender here because there's actually a lot of air that flows around this fender and through this crack right here into the cab. So I just stuck that in. All I did was loosen these, this uh, bolt here and there's two push pins. I was able to pull the fender back enough to get that little piece of foam in there. You can see it sticking out right here a little bit. And hopefully that'll stop a bunch of air. It's not a bunch of air, but it is some air. I feel the air coming in through here. So I'm going to do that with the other side too. I've already got it loosened up. And then we'll move on to um, either this, putting the sound deadening here, or uh, working on the carpet panel that goes back here. Okay, so I'm test fitting this back carpet panel. And you're going to have to cut a few areas out. Um, I already cut the area right here, that's for the seat belt. And I got... You got two more areas that are... They're marked on the back here. And that is for your seat actually to go through. So I got to cut those out. Why the heck they don't have them stamped out to begin with? Why they make you cut that out? I have no idea. I'm using a razor and a sharp pair of scissors here to do this. But it's, it's not that easy. This, this stuff is pretty thick. And I'm pretty annoyed that uh, 
they didn't just cut these holes out themselves. I don't know why they would make you buy it and then do it, but whatever. Um, I got to cut these out. Okay, so on to the sound deadening. I'm using some 80 mil uh, Noico. Noico stuff. Like I said, 80 mil. And you're probably wondering, well, I'm just using strips here of it because it's easier to work with in the strips than try to do one whole piece here because it's really angles and stuff like that. Um, you're probably wondering why I use sow deadener. Why am I using it? Well, all your high-end cars and, and all your audio guys use sound uh, deadening material. Um, I'll show you right here. Um, listen to this. Now listen to this. That is exactly why you use sound deadening material. It really helps with uh, uh, sound transfer and stuff like that. Like I said, this is probably the most important piece that I haven't done in the whole Ranger. And I'm going to do this tonight. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have it out. And we'll have the, uh, you know, along with the carpet pad there, sound deadening here. Uh, the new pads on the floorboard there. Um, I'm I'm hoping for uh, quite a difference in the sound of the cab in this thing. So I got all my sound deadening on this little back panel here. I also did my intake tube. This is the intake for the engine. Um, might quiet it down a little bit. I'm sure a little noise comes through that. Uh, put a strip on here. This is really kind of thin and put a little strip down there. I think I got it almost double thick down there. Again, that's where most of the noise is coming from. And I've got um, this intake tube um, wrapped too. So it's ready to Ready to go back on. Actually, everything I think is ready to go back on. I got to get my carpet back in there. Get it in place. Um, and uh, get my, my seat back. Bolted back on. And yeah, everything can go back in now. Well, there we go. It's starting to look like something now. That... Uh, it's actually really nice. Uh, this is held in place with um, little push pins. There's three on each side. And I haven't done this side yet because um, I want a little bit of looseness because I got to hook up the, the tube here. There's a, a tube there and there's a tube on the other side that I need to uh, get hooked up but uh, I'm really liking this carpet. I should have done this a long time ago. I've had this for a while. Uh, it matches the, the headliner but it's, it gives it a nice finished look down there behind the seats. You can see behind the seats. You can't really see back there but you can see right there so I think this is going to be nice. So I got everything installed all the back panel and everything, most of the seats. And that carpet adds such a nice finished look to everything. I really like it. But the real test, take it for a drive. Hopefully uh, it, it makes it quite a difference. Uh, I did do I did do some sow deadening on the the bin, the bottom of the bin on that side. So Let's take it for a spin, see what she sounds like. Okay guys, I'm pretty happy with uh, the sound deadening that I'm getting from uh, this kit and all the, the sound uh, mat that I stuck on. Probably the biggest improvement yet. I know I did a bunch of stuff under the dash and, and, and all over, but I think this has made the most difference because like I said before, most of the sound is coming from the rear, the, 
the, the range of where the engine is and where the muffler's at. So, I'm pretty happy with that. I would actually recommend that sound deadening kit if you got a 900 and you want to quiet it down. So, I didn't get my uh, grill guard painted, my front grill guard. But this is what it looks like without it. Hopefully in the next few days I'll have that painted and I'll be able to put that back on. So that's going to do it for this one guys. Uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Well if you ask me where I come from It's a big old land with countless dreams And happiness ain't out of reach Hard work pays off the wage.